My name is Betty and I'm a YouTuber. I work from home and in this video, I'm going to be using the James Clear Habit Journal from Baron and Fig. And I picked it up because I wanted another way to list my to-dos, but also just another way to track my work and what I need to do on a daily basis without having to use technology. Currently, I use my Google Calendar. Sometimes I just ignore it. Sometimes I don't really follow it at all. And then I use a journal app on my iPad to list my most important tasks of the day but I think I could combine everything from those two mediums into this journal but I just bought it and I just got it so I'm excited to see what's in it it's pretty thick for a journal I have journaled well I still journal I journal every day using these paper age journals so they're a little bit different they're just lined paper and it's much thinner than the clear habit journal but in this video I'm gonna set it up do a quick review first impressions of it it and we'll see where it goes. On a daily basis, I make videos about tech, mechanical keyboards mostly, except lately it's been not as exciting. It's been very lackluster and I think that's because I've been doing the same thing for over two years now. I've been trying new things to keep it more exciting, things like live streams, shorts, content, uh, making things that aren't keyboard videos exactly. So I'm taking two hours a day every single day to just do different work and see what else is in store for the future for me. I'm gonna try other things and this is gonna be part of that journey or at least I hope so. We'll see. Okay, when I open up the journal, it gives me some ideas on what to use the pages for. So we have an index page where you list what page is about and the page number. You also have a one line per day journal. Then there's the notebook itself with dots and then the habit tracker. So that's the quick start guide. I put my start date, December 9, 2002. Gonna be 2003 soon. So for the first one line per day, I think I'm going to answer what is my biggest accomplishment today. And I'm starting in December. So I skipped a few days, but I'll be starting December 9th. And then there's a bunch of pages for that, so probably for a whole year. Then we go to the notebook section, and that's where you have grids of dots. And I think this is going to be like a bullet journal kind of spread. I'm not sure what I'm going to be using this for yet. There's a lot of those pages, like a lot. And then the last section we have is the habit tracker section. And because I've been using a habit tracker on my iPad for the month of December, I think I'll start using the habit tracker here in January of 2023. So we got a bunch of pages for that. And then there's a toolkit section, which explains to you like different ways that you can use the dots and grids. So there's a the habit tracker. I mean, let's just look at it. So how to use the habit tracker. How do you, I mean, if you want to do a decision journal, I don't make too many decisions, but you could. Second order thinking. I mean, there's some new ideas here that I've never even heard of before. Eisenhower box, what the heck is that? Ivy Lee method, this looks like a MIT's kind of thing. Workout tracker and a food journal. So a bunch of different ideas. You have a pocket the back of here for keeping your money, your Benjamins, just kidding. It's probably for notes and index cards and stuff. So I'm gonna set up the bullet journal part today. And of course, to set up a bullet journal, uh, I need to follow a guide because I'd have no idea how to set this up. So I'm gonna type that into YouTube and then I'll just, you know, I don't know, do some kind of spread. I only have black pens, so I don't have much color to work with. We're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna try to keep it simple and get started as fast as possible because I think decorating can be used as procrastination for someone like me who tries to avoid work at all costs. After looking at a bunch of different articles on bullet journals, I've decided they are way too complicated and I'm just not going to do any of that. I'm just going to do most important things uh, on a daily basis and I have to keep track of future events like meetings and stuff. I'm just gonna put that into Google Calendar. I think trying to move my everything to a journal is just, it, it's too it's too overwhelming of an idea. So I'm gonna use both for now, but MIT's will go into the journal. 
All right, so I don't know about you, but for me personally, starting off a journal is quite anxiety inducing because it's such a clean page. But one thing that I've learned is that you just gotta, you just gotta do something, write anything. It could, it could be beautiful. It could be ugly. Later on, the handwriting is gonna deteriorate. Anyways, to a more natural handwriting once the anxiety comes down. So I just wrote a few things, and yeah, I'm good now. My anxiety is gone. I feel good about it. I, I've journaled a lot in the past, so uh, you just start. <laughs> I'm just starting. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I know it's not. It's gonna change a lot throughout the, the days, the months, the years, as I change and as my pens change and everything. So I'm just starting. Just starting. All right, this is what my first page of the journal looks right now. I've done two things. I've done shorts and I made a quick content plan or like a word vomit mumbo jumbo for what I sort of want the channel to be. So I wrote down all these things, just took like 10 minutes to just spit it all out. And then I wrote down some things to just get me started. I just want to execute and do something. So I think this is my first idea of using this journal for seven days to a month. Now see if it like changes my daily activities or makes me more productive. I honestly have no clue. It is day two of using the Clear Habit Journal. Day two, I've got three things. My pen sort of broke here, so I'm making a shorts for switch and click. Uh, I'm trying to plan this video. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna do it as is. I think Project 15 needs a big change. Then I'm gonna work out. Today is day four of using the Clear Habit Journal and it's becoming quite a habit. I go upstairs, go into my office, open up my journal. I'm gonna write down my three most important things for the day. I don't know what those are yet, but I'm gonna figure it out eventually, soon. Today is the final day, day seven of using the Clear Habit Journal, however, it's not the last day that I'm using it because I'm gonna keep on using it because it's actually been pretty helpful in my life. Sure, I don't do much in it. The only thing I do is type out, well, write out the day, December 15th, 2022, and then list things that I need to get done for the day. And that's it. Uh, it's basically using the Ivy Lee method that's outlined in the back of the book in one of the toolkits on how to use the grid pages. That's pretty much all I've been doing. Uh, today I actually had six tasks. Usually I only have three tasks that I deem to be really important. Other than these lists of things I need to do, I write down random notes that I don't really think I'll look back on, but on the off chance that I do, I do write it down. Inspiration that I get from other channels that I think would be really fun to do or something that I think I would like doing, like a aesthetic notion page. I feel like that's sort of my thing, you know, I'd really like that. But would I actually? I don't know until I try. For the journal, it basically just sits on my desk every day. Uh, I think the way that I'm using it, it's going to last a really long time. And then I do have my habits for Project 50 that I've been doing. It's a really easy reminder to do my habits, although I've pretty much ingrained everything into my brain already since a lot of those habits I just do, just habitually I do them, except for like two of them. Uh, that I actually need to think about. And the one line per day journal, I've been using two, but it's, it's not as important. I think I would be completely okay if I just stopped doing the one the one line per day journal because I bought myself a five minute journal and I just think that's really awesome. It like brings a smile to my face whenever I fill it out in the morning and then I fill it out at night. You may think, oh, she's really obsessed with journaling. Uh, sort of, yeah. Yeah, sort of. I've been journaling for over a decade now and it's just helped me get through grad school. It helped me get through uh, being alone, having anxiety, being burnt out. It's just journaling is just so calming and therapeutic for me. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop journaling. In fact, uh, before this move, I ditched a lot of my old journals and now I'm having some regrets over it, but that's okay. Because from now on, I'm just gonna keep all my journals in like a box in the garage or the closet or something. I'm gonna keep them. I love journaling. Now, do you need a clear habit journal? No, you can buy any journal, like a 99 cent notebook from Walmart or the dollar store will suffice. You don't need a 
dollar journal. It just sounds so ridiculous when I say it like that. But I mean, Atomic Habits was worth more than its cost by a long shot. So I'm happy if I'm supporting James Clear and all the things that he's taught me about habits and living a better life. So yeah, having having a journal just satisfies me quite a bit, but you don't even need a physical one. You can use Evernote, Google Notes, Apple Notes, whatever it is that you use. You don't even need to keep them in a physical form or you can just delete it day after day after day. I'm gonna continue using the Clear Habit Journal. I bought my husband one as well and he doesn't have the same affinity for journaling that I do at all, but he's gonna use his as well uh, just for the tasks that he's gonna do per day. And I mean, we basically use our journals for the exact same thing because I have journals for other purposes too. This is the work journal. Uh, anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just babbling on and on about journaling because I really like it, but I hope you like it too. And I'll see you in the next one.